Hey guys, happy Wednesday. So day three, week two of our open prep cycle. We wanna get started with strict knee to elbows, very similar to what we did last week, where we just kinda hang, and then we wanna pull our knees to our elbows, all right? So it's not knee to triceps, it's not knee to armpits, it's knee to elbows. So for most of the population, you guys will need to create some sort of um, target with the elbow, so your knee can kinda drive to the elbow. And, um, and it's a very, it's a very fundamental idea to kind of get total bar because a lot of times people with the most efficiency in total bars kind of go through this knee to elbow thing. So we really want to like train this position and be strong in it, right? So we want to get started with some knee to elbows first, strict. And typically when I look as a coach, there's two things that lets me know that you're swinging, right? And it'll, it's self-evident to me, but like maybe not to you. Um, so typically, I'll see your arms pull back. If your arms pull back, you're creating momentum. So we wanna avoid that. And then I look at this bar as like the starting line, right? So if your feet ever starts on the back side of the bar, if you're facing out, then you're swinging. Like it's the only way because you're like this, right? Chest open or shoulders open, feet back, you're swinging. So like just avoid it, um, please, okay? It's cool is strict for a reason, all right? So we hang, all right? Feet stays out in front, kind of create some tension here. Knee to elbow, come back down. Knee to elbow, come back down. And so that's typically what we'll do. And so that's kind of a strict knee to elbow. Um, again, slow and control, you guys have um, a long time between efforts, so like just make sure that we do each repetition correctly. Once we get done with that, we'll kind of get into the swinging component of this um, move, and we'll want to do total bars if we can do this, right? And so typically, you can go swinging, knee raises, right? And an open standard is typically knee above um, the hip, and so we can swing and do that, right? Um, it is, uh, um, modification in the CrossFit Open, so that's something that you should train. Um, or you can just attempt to do a total bar. So whichever one you wanna do um, for this next part, we can kinda do that. But we'll just get the rocking, and we'll just always swing, right? And then if I'm here, that's great. Keeping the swing together. But eventually, I just wanna be here. You do on my total bar. All right, now, once we get done with total bar, we got this pretty gnarly workout. All right, you're not gonna use the ropes, you used that yesterday. So, we got a dumbbell snatch, and then we have a pistol squat. But before that, we shoulder run it. So, the room will be broken up however is most um, conducive to the size class and whatever gym. So, down and back is one 25 foot shoulder, Shoulder run, so you guys run, boom, boom, shoulder run. Once you guys get done with the shoulder run, you will go to a dumbbell snatch. So take one of these guys, boom, and we wanna alternate. So the switch can happen a lot of different places. All right, so the switch can happen in a myriad of ways, but after the dumbbell snatch, we wanna to go to a pistol squat. So pistol squat is a one leg situation where we sit down um, with the foot out. Keep this non-working foot off the ground. So you just sit down and then you stand up and then you switch. You sit down and then you stand up. Good ways to modify that is to get on a seat, kick the foot out, drive up, try to control it down burly tap and then change direction. So that's a good way to work that. Um, and then also another good way to work it is um, a step down. So from here, we want to avoid the common notion of just like coming down and then coming up, right? Um, let's work through this as if we were doing a pistol squat. So we want to break at the hips. We want the foot to trail and we want to either like touch the toe Right? Or if you want to add some more challenge, you can lead with the heel, or we'll leave the toe up, the heel down. Slightly touch. 
And then as you get stronger, right, you can come down and then come out in front and then kind of stand up. And then that, um, that'll train the hip and the glute, right? It'll help keeping the job, because typically what I see for an uh, immature pistol squatter is I see the knee kind of go in, and that's just not a long-term strategy. So what happens, a good long-term strategy. So what happens, pay attention to my knee as I come down, then my knee, I do that, and it just puts a lot of pressure through the front of that knee, and then again, after a number of those, over a period of time, it just simply won't feel good, all right? So those are your moves, and those are your pistol squat variations. Again, we got shoulder run, we got dumbbell snatch, we got pistol squats in some sort of sequence, right? And then you guys will work hard, you guys will have fun, and we're done with Wednesday.